about half eight and I'm getting ready to go to work very soon. And after work, I'm going on to the mini holiday thing, which we talked about yesterday. So that's exciting. So I just need to, I just put some clothes in the wash because I realized I had so much more clothes and I realized I need washing. So I'll just shove that in the washing machine. Um, so that's something. But right now I'm making myself a cup of coffee and I might get some editing done. And um, I go to work, so let's be good. Hi, okay, um, well, I was going to have a relaxing editing session, just editing my vlog, but then I was like washing my clothes and obviously in the washing machine, and then a crisis literally just like, happened. So as I was like sitting down editing, I was like next to the washing machine, I just heard a like, loud like thudding noise, like a uh, sound of, like a big mass of machine just like shaking everywhere. And so I, I was like washing like duvets, covers, like quilts and stuff, but what I didn't do was like close like the quilt covers like you know you're supposed to like close them so i think what happened was all the clothes must like go inside it's like duvet cover thing which essentially made it into like a sack and so it, it became really really sort of heavy in the washing machine from like obviously be, being wet and soaking and so as it, as it was like going to the point where it was like gonna dry you know how sometimes like the washing machine will like spin really fast so it can like dry well it did that and it must have become so so heavy from being in the sack that the washing machine starts like really sort of like shaking like it was literally just like going like this like so i had to very quickly go in there turn the washing machine off and i couldn't obviously turn it back on again because it will just do the same thing again I looked on the floor as well and the floor was even. I don't, I don't know like what could have been like wrong with the floor or anything to make it uneven. So it must have been this like huge, huge like sopping wet sack of clothes, which obviously made it sort of just like really sort, sort of like start to shake the washing machine. So I thankfully wasn't in like any of the process, like water, like it was just in its like drying phase, I think where like, you know how it becomes like semi sort of dry. So I was able to like take it out thankfully, but now all the clothes like sopping wet. So I've had to literally put all the clothes out on the line and it's like literally like, sopping wet, but hopefully the heat will like kind of make it dry. This is your sign to never put quilt covers in the washing machine opened. Uh, make sure to always close your quilt covers, like button up or whatever. But yeah, I think that kind of illiterates that you should never like leave your washing machine or anything like any appliances like when you're not like at home because you never know what might happen to it. Like if I wasn't at home, um, sometimes I will be like, oh, sometimes I will like leave the house if like the washing machine's like on its like seven, if it's like seven minutes left until the washing machine cycle's done. And I'm like, oh, I'll go to the park and leave the house, you know, with it running and obviously come back and like put it out. So if I'd have like done that, then I don't know, God knows what, what would have happened. But um, anyway, um, I'm going to make some crappy now and then have to work and then go on a sit mini vacation. So that's big. I am in New and Brighton, so I've come here on a bit of a vacation, vacation, that's American, holiday here in New Brighton for a weekend, so um, yeah, I've been like so busy these last few like weeks and days, and so I thought a trip to New Brighton for a weekend will do pretty good. So yeah, I'm actually really excited, so I think tomorrow I'm gonna like kind of like, I don't know, explore New Brighton, even though I kind of like know already, but I haven't really been here in ages. So yeah, tomorrow I'm gonna explore New Brighton, see what has to offer. Um, and it was like a really nice beach and like Starbucks and shops and things, so it was like pretty good. Um, but yeah. Okay, so 
we are at Morrison's to get like food for this like vacation holiday thing. Um, can I get like breakfast food? Because I feel like I'm not gonna like eat too much food because I'm just gonna go to like restaurants and stuff. So yeah, I'm trying to like think of what to like get. I've got like bacon and sausages and stuff. So that should be kind of enough. Probably bread and butter as well. Okay, I'm on the wine section. I'm not sure what sort of wine to get. There's like so many different types of like, wines and drinks and stuff. I always like go to like wine aisles and stuff. I'm also confused because I don't drink. And so I was like, what should I get? So why are these like mugs from Morrison so cute? Like I'm literally looking through these like, mugs right now and they are so cute. Look at this. It's our old mug. It looks so cute. A little pouch cheese pot, something on there, maybe like a biscuit or something. Yeah, oh look at this teapot, it looks gorgeous. I feel like supermarket, like homeware departments are, are more better than like the actual home store stuff because some of those mugs are so cute. Okay, so I've got like a bag of shopping. <laughs> it's so heavy. I've got like cans in here. It's got like cans of cola, cereals, bacon, sausages, bread, all sort that of kind of stuff. So, um, quite happy. Okay, so it is much, much later now. In fact, it's actually a few days later actually when I'm editing this vlog because I've not had a chance to edit it because I've been so busy. So, um, this is me editing it now, but I didn't vlog anymore after that. Like, I literally just, like, came, went back to where I was staying and I just basically just, like, had tea and... I ordered this, like, Chinese takeaway thing. I think I ordered, like, fried rice, something like that. I was, like, really hungry afterwards, so I ordered a bunch of spring rolls and fried rice and just ate that literally all night. But I didn't eat all of it, though, because I was, like, it was so filling, so I ate, like, half of it and then, like, had to throw the rest of it away because we was going out the next day so um so yeah that's um, what happened next and so um tomorrow i'm gonna show you guys the next day when i go out to liverpool liverpool's pretty good as well but i won't tell you guys that yet because i want to want you guys to see the vlog tomorrow so that's my editing right now as well so um i'll see you guys tomorrow so bye